Hello and welcome to the video by Spreadsheet Point. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly add indentation in Google Sheets. Now let me first show you what I mean by indentation. So here I have this text which is plain simple text and on the right here I have the text with indentation. You can see category one is on the left but these three items are a little to the right. So it makes it look as if these are within category one. So this is one way where you can use indentation to show main category and subcategories. Now, there are two ways you can insert indentation in Google Sheets. And uh, again, you can use these methods based on how your data is structured and how you want to get it done. Let me quickly show you these two methods. The first one is using custom format. So here I have the same data and these are the cells where I want to insert indentation. So the, what, the one which have these items. So I'm going to first select these. So I've selected these. I hold the control key and I select the others so that I'm able to select these non-contiguous cells. Once I have selected these, I would go to format and here hover over number, go to more formats and click on custom number format. Now, in your case, you may see an at the rate sign or a blank uh, field here. And what you have to do is insert the at the rate sign. And before the at the rate sign, you insert a couple of space characters. And these space characters would be how much indentation you really need. So in my case, let me uh, insert three space characters and I would click on apply and as soon as I do this it would instantly make these cells where I have applied this format shift a little bit to the right so now there is space three space characters on the left the good thing about this method is that the value in the cell does not change it only changes the way it looks to you so I'm seeing that there is some space on the left of this cell but the value in this cell still remains item one if you look at the formula bar you would see that there is no space character so what we have really done is we have inserted the space without changing the cell value and this is a really good way of doing it you can also use this method to insert let's say bullet points or check marks or any kind of symbols before the text and it will not be inserted in the cell value it will only be inserted and shown to you so your cell value will not change the second method that I want to show you here is not the best way of doing it but again something that a lot of people do and in case this suits you then you can also try it out in this method what we really do is we put the main categories in one column and the subcategories or the cells where we want the indentation in the second column so in this case I would simply select these items Put it in column B. So I'll copy and paste these quickly here. I would delete these from here. And now I would simply change uh, the column width for column A. And you can see it looks like there is some indentation. And you can quickly go and uh, remove the grid line so that you see it the similar way you have seen this one and it looks like it's in the same cell or in the same column but it is not and this is again one method a lot of people prefer this method because you can easily adjust the indentation and if you're printing this then it doesn't really matter because uh, you do not really see those borders so these are two quick methods of adding indentation in google sheets I hope you found this video useful also to make sure you are notified whenever I come up with new Google Sheets videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.